Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to go over how to install the NVIDIA GPU exporter as a service for Ubuntu 24.04. Now there are two really good monitoring options for your GPU. This guide specifically will go over the NVIDIA GPU exporter, and I have a link to the GitHub down here. But there's also the official monitor from NVIDIA called the NVIDIA DCGM exporter and this runs in Docker so if you if you have Docker it's a good option if you don't have Docker and you just want to run this as a service and still be able to monitor your GPUs with Prometheus and Grafana then this is a good option as well both honestly I think they have pretty much the same metrics I do like the dashboard for the NVIDIA GPU exporter a little bit better, but you can obviously make your own dashboard or customize the dashboards. But the the default one that you can import in Grafana is really nice for the NVIDIA GPU exporter. So you should have NVIDIA drivers installed and you should have Prometheus set up. I have a guide here for Prometheus as a service. Eventually I'll add another guide here for Prometheus in Docker, you can do both. And then Grafana should be connected to your Prometheus instance. And I have a few guides here for Grafana. If you don't have it installed already, you can get the cloud version, which is just hosted by Grafana. It's free. You could run Grafana in Docker, or you could run Grafana as a service in Ubuntu. Okay, so the first step is we're going to download the NVIDIA GPU exporter. And I have the releases page here. You're just going to look for the one with the latest tag, which right now is this 1.2.1, and then find the correct file. So it's sometimes confusing because ARM64 looks a lot like AMD64. I am going to want actually the, um, what file is it that I'm getting here? Is it the .deb? NVIDIA GPU exporter Linux. Is that, oh, okay, yeah. I always get confused. Sometimes you get a show more here we're looking for i was like i don't think it's the .deb file but it looks like you can install it via .deb file i'm going to do the linux x86 64 here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this link and then we're going to jump over to the terminal to finish up these steps here so i'm just this guide is or this wiki is linked in the description of the video and you can just go here and copy and paste the commands, but just update, you know, the versions as needed. All right, so we are in Bob here, and the first thing we're going to do is download the file. So I always download things to my root directory, or my home directory, that is. And to do that, I'll just do dash P, and then a tilde, and then the slash here, and then paste in. And if I do ls, we can see that the file has been downloaded. We'll extract it with tar xvf, and then we can just do autocomplete. And we can see we just have the NVIDIA GPU exporter and a license. So the next thing we're going to do is move this executable to our user local bin. So sudo move. NVIDIA GPU exporter to user local bin NVIDIA GPU exporter. Okay, and then it's already uh, executable, so I don't think this step's necessarily required, but let's just make sure that it's executable with chmod plus x. And then we can just remove uh the tar file that we downloaded and we can remove the license that way our folder is cleaned up again and then we're going to create a system user and we can do that with sudo user add dash r so that means system user dash s is bin false which means they won't have shell access Dash C, we're just going to put a comment here so we remember what this was for. NVIDIA GPU exporter service account. Dash D, so the directory is going to be non-existent. And then the user is going to be NVIDIA 
GPU exporter. So basically what this is doing is setting up a user that's a system user that has basically no ability to do anything other than run this service that we're creating. And then we're going to create the service itself. So sudo nano etsy systemd system nvidia gpu exporter dot service. And I'm just going to paste in the actual service file here. And we're going to be creating, a, creating this NVIDIA GPU exporter service. It's going to be executing our executable that we put in our user local bin. And that's really, it, it's a pretty simple service. So we'll do control X, Y, and then enter to save. And then we want to do sudo systemctl daemon reload to get the latest services sudo system ctl start nvidia gpu exporter and then we want to make sure that it's actually running so sudo system ctl status nvidia gpu exporter and we can see it is running and it's listening on 9835 so when we add this to our prometheus config we want to remember that port but we do want to enable it. I want this to be running uh, by default every time I start my computer up. You can leave it as disabled, but just know you're going to have to start it every time you boot into your comp computer. So sudo systemctl enable NVIDIA GPU exporter. And now we have that sim link. And if we do status again, we can see it's now enabled. OK, so now I want to update my prometheus.yaml and if you followed my guide for prometheus it's going to be in the sudo nano etsy prometheus prometheus.yaml that's typically the default location so it might be there for you as well and i already have a node exporter running but i want to and there's a guide on that if you want system information but let's add in the new job for the NVIDIA GPU exporter. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And I already have localhost 9835 listed there. And I'm just going to update this with my host name because I you can connect multiple computers to your Prometheus uh, instance. And you might want to name those instances with the host name. That way you know which host it is that you're getting the metrics for. And along those same lines, Right now it's easy because I have Prometheus running on the same computer that the NVIDIA GPU exporter is running, so I'm just using local host. But let's say you want to get metrics on another host that you have that isn't the same one that's running Prometheus. You would want to put the internal IP address instead of local host for that other host. All right, we're going to do control X, Y, enter to save. And then we want to restart the Prometheus service. So sudo systemctl restart Prometheus. That's going to restart and make sure that the latest targets are available. And from here, we can jump back over to our browser and we want to verify that the target is up. And we can do that with going to our the URL for Prometheus. So typically it's going to be the internal IP address of whatever computer is hosting Prometheus. So for me, it's going to be 192.168.69.99.9090. And then we'll go to status and then targets. And we can see the NVIDIA GPU exporter is up. Uh, we've got the correct instance here. And then the job is NVIDIA GPU exporter. So we're good. And now we're going to want to get the dashboard set up for Grafana. So I have Grafana Cloud, which means I am just going to open a new tab, open up Grafana, and then we're going to go to the menu item over here. We're going to do dashboard, and we're going to do new dashboard, and then import. And we're going to want to import uh, the dashboard 14574. So 14 Five seven four. We'll click load, and we can see we have the uh, NVIDIA GPU metrics dashboard by the owner here. And I'm just going to leave the title the same, but I'm just going to put Bob here 
And then I like to change the UID to Bob. And then you're going to want to select your Prometheus data source. So I've got a bunch here, which is a pain. I'm going to select Prometheus testing. Now, one thing I've noticed, it's kind of weird with Grafana, is sometimes I'll select the correct data source, but then when I go into the dashboard, it's selected my default, even though that's not the one that I wanted. Let's see if it happens this time. So we can just click import. And it looks like this is correct because we got the right host. Uh, the job is correct and we only have one GPU. So yeah, there we go. So we can see how our GPU is doing for our host Bob. So we can see there's like a lot of metrics here. We got, uh, this is kind of enlarged. Let me bring it back to like normal size. We can see we have a RTX 3080 Ti P8 for the state. We can see the driver version, uh, GPU utilization, power draw, fan speed, all sorts of things, which is really cool. Um, and we even have like some, you know, high alert settings, I suppose. I, you can enable alert, alert, alerts in Grafana, uh, but I don't think by default anything is, is enabled here. So this looks great right now. It's set for the last 30 minutes for these... Uh, like overtime graphs here and you can update that however you want I usually prefer 30 seconds I don't need it updated so frequently and a lot of times I'll do like the last hour and then you can do edit save dashboard just save all of those uh, settings that you changed and then you're good to go so now you have a dashboard for monitoring your GPU let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope, that's it. It ends there. If you felt like this video was helpful, please feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.